Hi, my name is Carolyn Waldron Parr, and today I'm going to show you how to make my vegetable lasagna. Now to start this, we're going to start by making two different kinds of sauces. One will be a red sauce, kind of like a basic marinara, and the other will be kind of like a cheesy sauce kind of mixture. So we'll start with the red sauce. So first off, I'm starting with uh, some crushed tomatoes in this bowl. Uh, I'm going to add to it some crushed red pepper, oregano, garlic powder, a couple teaspoons of sugar. Some salt and pepper. A little fresh ground pepper here. And then some salt. And I'm just going to mix this together until it's pretty well incorporated. It looks pretty good to me. All right, and over here we're going to start with our, our cheese mixture. We're starting with uh, mozzarella in a nice mixing bowl here. And then we're going to add to it some Parmesan cheese, grated. And um, we're going to use ricotta cheese here. This is a pretty classic way to start a lasagna. And then I'm going to lightly beat two pretty large eggs. I'm also going to add some more salt and pepper to this. And give it a good stir. This is a little bit hard to uh, to mix here, but it'll it'll work for you eventually. You want it to be pretty smooth because you're eventually going to spread this on some dry lasagna noodles. All right, now we're that we're through uh, mixing our two sauces. We're going to move on to assembly. Now that we have our sauces completed, we're going to start actually assembling the lasagna. I have my pan here, and it helps if you just spray it with some nonstick spray. And I'm actually going to start with a layer of the sauce. It helps to get things bubbling at the bottom. You just want enough so that when you shake your pan, it kind of coats the bottom. And then what I like to do is on the, the bottom layer, before I even add um, any noodles or anything, is I give some fresh basil, a rough chop, and I like to sprinkle it on the bottom. Then it sort of permeates throughout the lasagna. It's, it smells so good. Nothing fancy. Just chop up your leaves. Give a little sprinkle. And I start with a layer of zucchini. And you can use pretty much any veggies you want for this. I'm using zucchini because I happen to have a lot of it. My dad has a garden, and he just has more zucchini than he knows what to do with. But you can put in summer squash and all kinds of things. So I'm doing zucchini and basil here, and then I'm going to add some onions. It's kind of like, do whatever you want. However much you want. Can't really mess this up because it all winds up baking together in the end anyway. So then your first layer of lasagna noodles. And depending on the size of your pan, sometimes you might have to break a noodle so it fits. And then on top of your first layer of dry noodles, that's when you're going to bring in your um, cheese mixture. So you're going to spread a nice coating on there. And again, depending on the size of your pan, um, you, you're going to have a different amount of layers than I'm going to have. So just make sure that you're able to put cheese, this cheese mixture, on top of however many layers of dry noodles that you have.
looks pretty good. So now I'm going to um, add more sauce and then just incorporate more vegetables. I have red peppers and uh, mushrooms to go along with my zucchini and onions, but like I said before, you can use whatever you want. So do this for three or four layers. I've preheated my oven to 375, so after we're done assembling and after we sprinkle that top layer of mozzarella, we can just pop it right in. Now that we're done putting our lasagna together, I like to top it off with some more mozzarella cheese, just in case you haven't had enough cheese. Now we're just going to cover this. We're going to put it in our 375 degree oven for a little over an hour, probably an hour and 10 minutes. Um, and then we're going to uncover it and let it cook for another 20 minutes until the top gets kind of brown and the cheese is completely melted and nice and bubbly. So here we have our completely baked lasagna. It's been baking in the oven for an hour and a half total. Um, an hour covered and 20 minutes or so uncovered. You can see how it's gotten a little bit crispy on the top, which is great. Um, it just varies the consistency of your more mushy ingredients, which is uh, really nice. You actually get it to bite into something. So here you have it. I hope you guys try it. It's pretty easy, and um, it's also great for leftovers.